a green one here. Flavor green. We delivered a guessing game that we failed at. Hi guys. Hi. Um, so we're here at Barra Market, another episode from Barra Market, and we're at the Turkish Deli. Yep. So we're going to try some Turkish food and Turkish drinks. I hope you're excited, because I am. I am. And the first thing we're trying is what? What? It's a sandwich. It's a sujuk sandwich. Yeah. So, and sujuk is a Turkish beef sausage with garlic and cumin and pepper. And Spices. it's really, yeah, it's really delicious, isn't it? Yeah, it's my favorite. This sandwich also has some halloumi on it and it's grilled. So let's give it a try. Ladies first. This is what I've heard. And just so you can see, they've been a bit stingy with the sujuk, really. Mm. There is more in it. Mm. Apologies accepted. Mm. Oh, it's good. I really love this sujuk flavor. It's a bit peppery. You taste the garlic like a lot. And um, it's so yum. I feel like it's very salty, like it, you could use a sweet, a sweetness to it. Well, you have the halloumi as well, that is salty, so that might make it a bit saltier. But I actually think that um, it's good. Those are two of my favorite things, halloumi cheese and uh, sausage. My lovelies, there's actually also hummus in this sandwich, and I really like the combination. Did you realize there was some hummus in it? No. No, it's it, it, it adds some creaminess, I guess. I guess. Mmm, yeah. So I grew up eating soju. We have a lot of like Turkish shops in Germany, so my parents would buy soju all the time. And we would have it for breakfast with eggs, like a egg sujuk omelette, which mm. is so delicious. It does sound good, actually. Mm. And you can eat it for breakfast, for lunch, you know. It's something that I could eat all day long. Dinner? Supper? And here we have a Turkish coffee, but not the traditional, you know, little espresso kind of coffee. This is, this is, this is, this is a spiced Turkish latte, smell test. So to me, it smells like a dirty chai. Mm, it you know, you, cinnamon -y. yeah, you have the cinnamon um, smell and then obviously the coffee smell. Oh, that has a weird flavor. A lot of cinnamon but not sweet at all. No, they left the sugar out completely and I like it. It's like a it's like a dirty chai without any sweetness. I mean, it's stronger than a dirty chai because a dirty chai is, you know, coffee and tea mix. So this is pure coffee with well with milk, I guess. I really like it because, you know, when you get a special coffee, often yeah, often it's it's just very, very sugary, very sweet, and um, that's all you can taste. They I did really... say, do you want sugar, and I said no. So that could have played a Oh, that's what apart. it is. So I guess they usually serve it with sugar, but to me, this is perfect. I don't really need any sugar. Let me see if it's perfect. Like, you have the Turkish good, coffee flavor and the cinnamon flavor, and you know, the creaminess of, 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 of the dairy. And, yeah, and I, I like that. A little bit of spiciness. They also thought that it would be good, you know, while we're here, and it's a Turkish deli, they're known for their sweets, and we thought it would be good to try some baklava and Turkish delight, and oh my god. 
they have lots of flavors here. Oh yeah, Turkish delight, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flavors what, I never even heard of. For what Turkish flavors flavor. did you pick? Because you picked them, so. I'm not on the spot right now. Pistachio pasta, pasta, which they said, pasha, which they said was like a marshmallow and pistachio mix. You then I got some mint or strawberry? Nothing I had before. I had mint before. I got ginger, raspberry, pistachio. We'll just taste them. This is a long one. That's raspberry pistachio. Yeah, I can I can see it. Yeah, so maybe you just have to look at it. I can see the pistachio in here. I don't know if you can see it. I think I got apple as well, maybe. That was a cinnamon apple. I hope you got the cinnamon apple. I hope you did. Outlook not good. I don't want to get the dust on my pants. I'll never get it up. There's mm. just a hint of raspberry, right? It's not a strong raspberry flavor. But it's good. It's not, again, not overpoweringly sweet. A Turkish delight is super sticky and sweet, but this Turkish delight is not. Can you hear the train going? <laughs> I hope you can still hear me, I don't know. Let's wait. So we wait. No. This is with coconuts, right? No? But it looks... That's the marshmallow. Yeah, but there's some... It looks like it has some coconut. As far as I know. So what flavor is this? Pistachio Pasha. To me, it tastes a bit like sugar, nougat, like you know, it, yeah, it's very sugary, but it's again, not it doesn't super, have much flavor, super sweet. Yeah, there's a green one here, yes, flavor green, kiwi, maybe. I got kiwi again, like just a hint of sourness, you know at the end but not so much i i get it it might be that the powdered sugar um you know covers some of the flavor Ooh, that has the look of ginger yeah it does look like ginger it's hard to tone down ginger flavor i would say what this is it doesn't taste like ginger to me don't taste like anything no i get the hint of flavor again i get the flavor hits me right at the end these aren't as strong flavor wise as the packaged ones well yes yeah, some of the packaged ones yeah so i'm gonna try the red one do you wish i knew what they were mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very sweet, that one. Could be anything to me. That one's gross. I don't think... Grossly it's... sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Sickeningly sweet, but I'm not sure what it is, and I guess you don't know either. Insert flavor here. Okay, I guess this guessing game isn't going well. Could be strawberry, I, I'm not sure. I don't think I got strawberry. What did you get then? You don't even remember what you bought. I have to look at it. Yeah, so this is a number yellow one. That could be pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Again, not a strong flavor. So yeah, I guess this the Turkish delight was a bit disappointing, right? Yeah, you have to send your taste buds on a hunt for flavor. Yeah, especially it's not readily available. If, if, especially if you have a memory issue and don't remember what you ordered. And I entrusted him with this task. She wanted to sit. And he task. delivered a guessing game that we miserably failed at. Right? Uh, we guessed pineapple probably. Let's do the last thing, which we know what it is. This is the... It's just very um, soft rather than firm. And there's a lot of syrup down there, which makes it... What are you doing? Destroying it! 
Okay, so... Look at what she's done to this thing. Look at it. Mmm. This is walnut baklava, and it's delicious. I love walnut baklava. Is that the only sort they have? Yeah. It's really good, isn't it? Have you tried walnut baklava before? It's not as good as pistachio. I think I prefer walnut, actually. Pistachio is the one that you get everywhere, and it's good. But I really like the slight bitter taste of the walnut mixed with the sugar. It's just a good combination, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if you feel like having dessert, stick to the baklava. Don't get the Turkish delight, unless you want to play a guessing game. That you'll do. Is it from up? I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Let us know what Turkish food you like and whether you fried sajuk and whether you love baklava or anything else you would like to comment on. We would be happy to read some comments. Very happy. <laughs> okay, well, until we eat again. Cheers. Cheers.